Thank you, frame eight. Judd Trump to break. Judd Trump just needs that one chance, and he's quite capable of closing the match out. But can Ronnie prevent him from getting that chance? Wonder how irritated Judd will be. He's just had 15 grand pinched from his pocket. Yes, because 141 is going to take a little bit of beating as Hawkeye shows you what uh, Ronnie's looking at. Just got to be a little bit careful here that he finds the gap. Did well to miss that red near the cushion there. And this time he doesn't cabin into one of the ball covers. And I think he can get past the brown to the one that's uh, the right side of the table. But boy, if he took this on, he'd have to get it. OK, there's a slight angle. He refuses very little. There's Judd. But he was a country mile away from that. And if he has got away with this, I think this red's going to come up and be cuttable. But if that red hadn't have come back up the table, he would have got away with that. But that was a long way off the pot. Is that telling us a, a little story? Again, he could have chose to play for the black there, I think. And it would have made the pot easier. He, he does feel better hitting the balls harder. <laughs> he doesn't really get like, one out of too many chances. And again, Ronnie's got the first opportunity. Steve says not only can he come back, he's capable of coming back in this match, he's capable of doing it in Four. great style. One visit snooker. Five. Might play choose to play for the red below the black here. Ten. Got to be careful he doesn't follow them. There's a lot of cue between the bridge hand and the cue ball, though, but fortunately it was a straightforward pot. He could do with just getting that red just to the left of the black out Eight. of the way in a couple of shots' time. 19. Removing this just clears the black spot completely. 26. The 27. last frame lasted just under nine minutes. 34. I mean, Judd is fantastic to watch when he's break building, but this man here is just... A, it's a dream watching him. 35 42 43 and well, it doesn't get any better than this watching one of the greatest 48. players the game's ever produced fighting back in the way he is Forty-nine. Took a long pot on, didn't get anywhere near it, and he's got to sit and watch. How does that red? Oh, that come off the cushion quite fast. 
I think he played for the red just to the right of the pink. 54. He still might be able to get it, but it's a little bit of a stretch there. But the white seemed to come off the back cushion with quite a bit of pace there. Yeah, that was the problem there. Thank you. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 54. So just when he was a few pots away, he seemed to get a, a bounce off the back cushion. Let's have a look at this. Played for the one just closest to the pink, and it just seemed to pick up pace there. Yeah, and because he had check side, the more pace, it just brought the white more into the middle of the table as well. So, unlucky there. Still, keeps the heat on Judd. 54 point lead. Well, he tried to bring that red into play. <laughs> Look where he's put it. Unbelievable. Ronnie <laughs> likes those two reds, the left side of the table. That's a little bit of insurance, but Judd was trying to bring that one into play. That's careless to catch the blue. It's a bit like the break-off shot. You say, whatever you do, don't catch that blue. Yeah, I just didn't get into the cue ball enough with a, enough bottom and right-hand side. What? So comes to the table, 54 nil down. Great first red. You think there's at least 30 odd points here available without having to play the difficult reds. Well, we did say that Judd was looking for one chance oh. to close this match out. It is a chance. He's a long way behind, but uh, it is a chance. Five. And although he's playing position for these open reds all the time, maybe looking for angles, looking for opportunities to take these two reds on the left side cushion off, make them into potable positions. If this pink goes in the blue spot, he may choose to play the top red and take the red Hila. off the cushion. It's near the nearest to middle pocket. Sure to be on the pink. Oh, he's missed the cannon. 12. 18. Being a left-hander, one of the reds that's safe on the side cushion, uh, the one that's just slightly away from the cushion, is not too badly placed for Judd. If he could drop in behind it, it's the other one near the middle pocket that's the bigger problem. He's looking at the angle, potting this red and screwing back and taking the, the red that's closest to the middle pocket off the cushion. The only problem with taking reds off while potting reds is if the white sticks on the side cushion, it's going to have a really tough pot in the colour. So I myself think the shot is to follow through for the black. Nope, not taking my advice. 19. Well, maybe you should have taken your advice, uh, Stephen, but we'll find out shortly. See, that's the shot he plays so well. He, he hardly hits that, and the, the action he gets on the cue ball. It's just effortless. Well, you're looking right down the cue and stop and then spin back. 23. Now he can take that red off. The more difficult one, if he drops the black in, I think it's a natural angle just to flick that red out. Yeah, I think the previous shot when I said I wouldn't play it, it's because I didn't have Judd Trump's cue power. Now, 
The other red I mentioned wasn't too bad for Judd being a left-hander. The one he's moved Fifth. doesn't pass the green. If this shot up the cushion goes in, it could put Judd Trump into the semi-final. This is key. And it's there. If you want. There's a couple of reds safe. Ronnie thought there might have been a little bit of insurance. But when you've got this young man's talent, and even the blue for a left-hander is not difficult. 38. Thirty-nine. Well, showing a lot of character here. He watched Ronnie O'Sullivan make a break of 141 and start this with a break of 54. Yeah, I like the way he's taking this break. 45. Great killer instinct. As you said, two safe reds. It was half a chance to start with. 47. But he knew it was a chance to win the match. And he's taken it. 50. Well, he's just been outplayed today. He made a great effort. Uh, there's a couple of frames key where he could have won. He was 4 0 down at the mid session interval. Could have been 54. 2 each, but you can't take anything away from this sensational player from Bristol who was based in Romford and practices with Ronnie O'Sullivan. 59. Looks like it's the end of this year's Masters for Ronnie O'Sullivan. It was a spirited fight back. That magnificent break of 141 kept a minute. But in the end, it's Jim Trump who has been the more consistent player. Congratulated by Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's been a fabulous display of snooker from this young man. The rising star of snooker gets himself into the semi-final of this year's Masters, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan six frames to two. It was important to get off to a good start against him and put him under pressure. But I knew at 4 0 it still wasn't over and he, he battled away and um, he nearly got back into it. Well done to Jardy, played a fantastic match. You know, he uh, scored heavily, um, parted some fantastic balls and, uh, and, and under pressure made some good clearances. So, you know, all credit has to go to Judd because he's, uh, he's performed better than me on the day and deserved his victory. You know what he's capable of, and, and I've seen him hundreds of times in the past just, just blow people away from behind. So I knew I had to be careful and not take on anything too stupid and, and take my chances when they came. All you can do is just do your best uh, um, as, you, as the match is going on, and, uh, and that's all I could do. You know, I couldn't give any more out there. I'd, um, you know, uh, I give it 100%, and, and that's all you can do, really. Uh, the result was the result, but um, you know, he, he he played better on a day. I think when I go one or two frames ahead, um, I've got that confidence just to keep knocking the balls in it and keep um, scoring over and over again. And um, today, I've done that the first four frames, and and even um, in the second the second session, um, I, I hardly missed the ball. So I think that's all part of the confidence. Well, the local favourite and legend of the game, Ronnie O'Sullivan, has gone out to the young pretender, Judd Trump. What will the future hold for both men? Well, for Judd Trump, it's a spot in the semi-finals against either Neil Robertson or Mark Williams.